Alrighty, folks. Uh, I don't have the, the benefit of my usual well set up stuff, and I'm on my not so good camera, but I have found some radioactive pieces while out and about. So here's my Geiger counter. I have taken a 10 minute count now in this area, and I've discovered it to be give or take about 33 counts a minute. Now with my SE International Geiger counter, watch what happens when I put it over top of this crystal piece. The crystal piece is obviously radioactive. It's about 120 some give or take counts per minute. Now let me bend down here just a little bit. As you can see, it's a nice cake dish. This cake dish has an unknown age to it. It was bought at a uh, shop someplace. 130. It seems to average about 130, something like that, 120. Wow, I must have hit a juicy spot. This is actually higher than before, 150. Wow. Okay. Well, anyway, that's fun. See, it goes up and down. Moving right along. To this next little thing. It's kind of like a little itty bitty micro pitcher. So let the pegged out Geiger counter re reduce a little. So remember, folks, this Geiger counter is taking a statistical average based on a, a, a running total. So it's it, it it's it needs to have a few moments to reduce itself before it goes back up again. This is mildly radioactive. Independently tested it was more radioactive than the background. And I know it is around these other objects right now, so technically speaking, they could be actually in influencing its reading, but I'm not doing an incredibly accurate reading right at this moment, so that's fine. But as you can see, this object is radioactive. This tiny little crystal thing. Let me see if I can focus. It's nice looking. All right. Let's move my notebook out of, out of the way, and my pencil. And we'll put the Geiger counter down here. And let it drop down a little bit to normal. I mean, letting the Geiger counter drop down will also give you a, a better appreciation for just how radioactive these objects are. Okay. Geiger counter is dropping back down to normal. Still sort of elevated over here, but regardless. Now it's okay to put the Geiger counter on the object because I'm not contaminating it. These have uh, material locked in glass and the glass is generally holding the radioactive material and daughter products while releasing only the radioactive energy such as alpha, beta, and gamma particles which uh, uh, can pass right through the glass. Alrighty, take a look at that. 98 counts per minute off this little piece of glass right here. Alrighty. I just had dinner over here, so you can probably hear stuff going on in the kitchen. I just randomly decided to look around the house and find stuff. On a, on a secondary note, while I'm looking at this, I thought I might point out, I also found a, um, also found, I don't think I wrote it down here, I found a lamp from, 19, from the 1990s that was putting off uh, 70, 80 counts per minute that was in their basement and I found the other lamp that was like it and it also put out an equivalent amount of radiation so it's hard to say what the cause is. I'm picking up very little at a few inches away so my assumption is an alpha producer and the alpha producer is probably undergoing a isomeric adjustment which is probably the, what's giving me a slightly elevated readings from gamma emissions that come out of these and the alpha emissions are significantly higher. This one's not very radioactive at all. I ought to have a false alarm in this object right here. The gamma emissions from the other objects are, of course, entering the Geiger counter and setting it off. I think this one's a false alarm. It's also not the same style as any of the other ones. The last object that is for sure radioactive, let me put this, this picture away, excuse the impromptu nature of this, is this item right here. Let me pull it out and put it right on the table. Gently on the table, so it's a nice table. This item right here turns out to also be significantly radioactive. It is a nice little pitcher, and when the Geiger counter is put close to it, 
it reads a significant reading. Let's gently do that. As you can see, this object is also radi radiating energy, probably alpha emissions, probably secondary gamma emissions. Some of these could have beta emitters, but probably not. This is probably all confined to alpha and gamma. And you can tell because as you move the object, the Geiger counter away, the readings substantially drop. And you're picking up only, probably only gamma. By the time you get to here, distance inverse square rule is dropping the gamma ratings down to very little. Well, let's get back again. And as you can see, radioactive. And so, these are the radioactive objects I randomly found today. They're all over everybody's house. Nobody knows. Isn't that amusing? Well, moving right along.